Hey everybody, it's Scott Hanselman. I'm here at .NET Fringe. We're here in the green room. We got all sorts of cool people that we're talking to. And over here, it's just freshly off stage, Evelina Gamashova, how are you? Oh, I'm alright. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How do you feel about your talk? I think it went really well. Yeah? People were cheering a couple of times. Oh, cheering? Yeah, That's a cheering. Pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I think I got the biggest cheers when I was showing off F Sharp in Emacs. Yeah. Because that's not the usual thing you would see. Like a lot of people use Visual Studio, a lot of people use VS Code, but yeah. I was showing Emacs. So can you, can you show cool. me that really quick? Yeah, yeah, actually? sure, sure. Wow. Is that possible? Yes, here I have my Sharp, so I can... You, are, yeah. you, are you in yeah, an yeah. editor right now? Yeah, this is an editor, and you can see that Where's I Where's your user interface? Wow, this is Emacs. <laughs> <laughs> This is Visual Emacs, so I get quite like, all these like type annotations. It looks like yeah, you're just everything. typing on like yeah. white paper. Wow, this is Emacs, and I can start my F Sharp Interactive as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, and this is my F Sharp Interactive here. I can make it bigger. Okay. See, it's F Sharp Interactive, and I can write into it, and it's working, and it's in Emacs. Okay, so how did you get IntelliSense? Who who gave you that? Does, well, it, does Emacs just know, or is the OmniSharp, or who is doing uh, the work? No, this is actually using the F Sharp compiler services, uh -huh. which is open sourced. You can go on GitHub, fork it, anything. So people decided to put it into Emacs, and yeah. it's really cool, and it's actually much faster than you can get in Visual Studio. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, it is. It wow. Is. So you do all of your work in Emacs, you don't ever miss well, Visual Studio? Well, to be honest, on my desktop at work, I have a Fedora, and yeah. Emacs is the most reliable editor. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Runs for days, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. So you did and your talk. once you learn it, you can use, use it for any language. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, well, you, you did your talk with the Star Wars theme. Yes, I did. What did, you, what did you use Star Wars for? Well, I was talking about one project that I did, which was a, quite a fun project, where I extracted the social network of all the Star Wars movies. And I used the screenplays to extract that. So I was talking a bit about how I did it, uh, what problems I had, mm -hmm. how to do parsing in F Sharp, which okay. can be really quite nice and elegant. Yeah. And I was talking quite a lot about how to use type providers to like, combine data sources. And then, yeah, my talk was a big mashup of a lot of things. Yeah. And my big point is if you want to do data science, you can like, stay in your language that you like. For me, that's F Sharp. And you can just call other things directly from F Sharp. Right. So I was using quite a lot of R libraries, but I was just calling them from F Sharp directly. How do you tell someone's relation in Star Wars? How do you know who's someone's brother or who's someone's daughter? I don't know that. That's that would be a bit more difficult. Okay. So what's this, how do you describe <laughs> the social network? Who talks? What to who? I did, I was just looked at the scenes. Yeah. And because scripts have very standardized structure, you always have like the name of a scene. Right. Uh, who speaks, etc. Okay. So you can look at scenes as blocks, mm -hmm. and then look at people who speak in each scene and then assume that if they speak within the same scene, they probably know each other. Oh, okay. And that came to the actual social network. Is there a visualization? Yeah, 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 yeah there is, there is, actually. I have a nice visualization. I'll just get to it. Oh, this is it's a part of my talks, and they are, I had a lot of this gifts in there. This may be the greatest talk ever. <laughs> I, think the I love the, recording the fonts be, and everything. The yeah, recording is, yeah. it will be available. Yes, yeah, I think it's Oh, my goodness. This is uh, the visualization, and I can click on it because it's running in the browser. Oh, it's and not just live. Yeah, it's and this is this D3JS? Is, yeah, this is D3JS. But the point is, I wrote this in F Sharp because oh. there is this very cool project right now called Fable. Oh. Uh, and that's a compiler from F Sharp directly to JavaScript. So, like and Babel? Yeah, yeah, it uses Babel actually. Babel. And I can now go inspect the code. Okay. And here in sources, it's showing me my F Sharp source. Wait a second, F sharp source. Yeah, this is F sharp. So it can it's make sitting it larger in, probably. It's sitting okay, it's in, in an FX X Yeah, file. FSX file. That's okay. F sharp script file. And then it compiles when it is loaded or compile when does it compile? Like it's No, you compiled. have to run the Fable compiler, it spits out the JavaScript. Oh, and it okay. also creates source maps, That's which then allow me to put even breakpoints into the F sharp code, run the JavaScript and it will stop in my F sharp code. Okay, so you so, are in Chrome yeah. and you did F twelve tools and, and F twelve tools yeah. knew yeah. about this because yeah. of the source map. And this is my F sharp code that now here I have a breakpoint. So I can just refresh the visualization, 
and it will get there and it stopped in my F sharp code. Oh my gosh. Can you yeah. look at can you look at symbols and, and see? Uh, yes I can. I'm not very professional in this because well I my area is not web development. Sure, sure. So I am happy for anything that helps me stay away from JavaScript. Well, does this so. mean that you are now a web developer? And F yeah, sharp, definitely. F sharp definitely. made you a web developer. Yes. <laughs> so you're a data scientist by trade? Uh, yes, I am. I do machine learning mainly. Yeah. yeah. My original background is in programming, but then I moved on more to mathematics and machine learning and data science. So, so how much F sharp is this? Is this thousands of lines of F sharp? Uh, this visualization or the whole analysis? Yeah, well, let's take both of those. Well, this is 60 lines of F sharp. Only 60 yeah, lines? Yeah, 75, let's say. Yeah. And the whole analysis, well, it's on my GitHub, but it's. The, the main problem with the Star Wars data was that there was a lot of noise in the data, mm. and I had to write two different parsers for screenplays because sometimes they have very different formats. But overall, well, and uh, F sharp makes everything quite short, yeah. So that's why I like it. Basically. So you love uh, you love F sharp. If you did this in C sharp, how many lines of code would this be? You think? To be honest, now I have to admit something. In my life, I probably wrote 100 lines of C sharp code. And when you wrote that 100 <laughs> lines, was it uh, was the result a successful Star Wars visualization? <laughs> no, probably uh, not. <laughs> well, I will just run the visualization again. That's amazing. Uh, well, not really. The 100 lines, it was actually fixing a bug in a C-sharp library on, in linear algebra. Yeah. So that like, was like it. Like you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like F-sharp is like the language of your soul. You found uh, your language. Yeah, definitely. Because for me, I was using quite a lot of the languages that are used in data science, uh -huh. things like R, Python, MATLAB. And for me, f -sharp is something a bit like Python, but with types. And the static typing really helps. Really? Yeah. That's fantastic. So yeah. where can people learn about this talk and see this, uh, the slides in the GitHub? Well, the slides are, well, it's, everything is on my GitHub. Uh -huh. And the Star Wars talk is actually on my website already, because it's all running in browser. So if you go to everinag.com slash Star Wars talk. All right. There it is. see the slides there. right there. See it? Yes. Yeah, beware, if you look at the slides, there are some spoilers. Some spoilers. So watch the movie, then <laughs> yeah, see the talk, see the data science talk. Yes. Very cool. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you.